AMS TAC is a database management system that allows you to receive, dispatch, and ship cargo. However, it is also a great tool to produce reports. Generating reports is ideal for quality control and accountability purposes. If you need to generate daily, weekly, or monthly reports, AMS TAC allows you to customize these reports to better suit your needs. For instance, you may choose from several types of activity status categories, such as available TCNs, dispatch TCNs, or even open tally sheets. You can further narrow the data on your report with other selection criteria to get specific results. First, let's take a look at all TCNs. This gives you a total picture of all activity within your warehouse operations. To begin, we'll select Reports, Activity Report. For the activity status, we'll choose All Activity. The Sort By section is used to organize your report by what is important to you. For this example, we'll choose to sort by TCN. Next, you may select a specific date or range of dates to suit your needs. We will leave this section blank so that all dates will be included. Note that the Container Type field is only used when you choose Shipments for the activity status. Shipments would be outgoing shipments created while using the Ship menu. We will leave this field grayed out for this example. Next, we'll choose All Consignees, All Carriers, and All Transfer Points. If you have specific needs for your report, you would make your selections accordingly to include only the specific consignees, carriers, and transfer points that you need. The final selection is the report type. You may choose Detail, Summary, or Grand Totals. Since we are selecting a large amount of data for this report, it wouldn't make sense to choose a detail report. We'll select Summary. Select OK. You may choose to preview, print, or export your report. Select Preview Report and click OK. This may take a few moments. Note that your selection criteria will appear at the top of the report. The summary will show your totals. If needed, you could use the print icon to print out your report. Now let's take a look at the TCNs that have been dispatched. Just like before, you would choose your selection criteria to suit your needs. In this example, we'll choose Dispatched for the activity status. Next, we will choose how we want to sort the report. In this case, we'll sort it by date offered. We will leave the date fields blank so that all dates are included. You can change this as needed. For example, if you only wanted to look at TCNs that have been dispatched this month, you could fill in the first day of this month as the dispatch from date and today's date as the to date. Next, we'll choose selected consignees and highlight the consignees that should be included on this report. Of course, you could choose all consignees if you wanted a total picture. Next, choose All Carriers. If you wanted to limit the report to include only certain carriers, you could do so by highlighting them like we did for Consigny. We will choose All Transfer Points. If you had a need to see what was dispatched from a particular transfer point, such as a parking lot or bin area, then you could select Specific Transfer Points. Finally, we'll choose Detail for the report type to show you what a detailed report looks like. Please note that if you have a large amount of data, this report could be hundreds of pages long. Typically, a summary or grand total format would be preferable in this case. Click OK and then choose Preview Report. Click OK again to view the report. Again, the report criteria is listed at the top, and you can see detailed information about each TCN that has been dispatched for our selected consignees. We can also use the activity report to see which tally sheets are open or what hasn't been signed for yet. This can show you what may still need to be delivered or picked up, or possibly closed out manually if the items have been delivered without a signature. For the activity status, we'll choose Open Tally Sheets. For the sort option, selecting consignee would probably be the most helpful, although you may choose the option that's best for you. For the date, you may select all dates or a specific range of dates. For the selection criteria, you would most likely choose all consignees, all carriers, and all transfer points. If you need to narrow your selections, you can choose different options like we did earlier in this lesson. For the report type, we'll select Detail so we can get the specifics on each item. Click on OK and then choose Preview Report and OK again to generate the report. There are many other uses for the activity report besides the ones that we've described. You can spend some time selecting different buttons and previewing the reports to find a report that works best for you. The best thing about the activity report is that it's highly customizable, so you can easily tailor it to suit your needs. When you are done creating reports, you may select Cancel to return to the main screen.